so we are here at the MSI booth on SEVI 2009. We are here with Joy, who will speak about some uh, Intel motherboard. Uh, hi Joy, could you present yourself and uh, explain your role inside uh, MSI? Hello, to me, my name is Joy. I work for an MSI headquarter in China Marble Park. I charge of uh, Intel platform. Okay. Uh, could you present uh, to our readers and our viewers the P55 uh, motherboard for which market segment is that for? And uh, we'll talk uh, later about key features. Okay? Yep. Okay. Uh, this is our P55 motherboard. We have uh, some uh, great features in this motherboard. We have uh, 40 uh, FAS uh, in our CPU side and the memory and the chipset. And uh, we also have a, a separate a PCIe uh, spec. It can config by by 60 by 60 and uh, by 60 by 8. We also have a special PCIe slot. It can config by 4. Okay, and uh, which segment for the market is uh, that member for? Uh, this one is for gaming series segment. We have uh, some special feature in this segment. Uh, uh, example, for example, we have a uh, full old, uh, Blu-ray audio stream support in the uh, newest uh, audio codec. Okay. We use the Realtek ROC uh, 889. Okay. We also we also have a uh, some easy button for user friendly feature. As you can see, we have power button reset and uh, turbo and uh, LED disable. Okay, so you can uh, disable the, uh, the LED when you play game, for example. Yes, sure. Okay, exactly. that's cool. And um, as you can see, you have a, a little display on the motherboard. Uh, what's it stand for? Yes, this is very important for our IPS function. This digital step switch can show uh, how much our uh, our CPU working for uh, uh, the loading phase in the currently. Okay, uh, APS mean uh, active fast switching. Yes, okay, sure. Right. Okay, so we are here now with some uh, other P55 and the Eclipse Plus motherboard. Could you present the P55 uh, G9? Yep. Uh, this is our extreme segment motherboard. Uh, for this one, we have another special feature. It's called the Power eSATA. <laughs> we also have an OC switch here and the over voltage jump. It okay. can let you uh, adjustment the, the more higher uh, voltage, voltage uh, adjustment. Okay, you can, uh, by switching jumper, you can unlock a new setting in the BIOS or will just apply it directly after the boot? Uh, you can adjust it by BIOS, but uh, you, you will see a more range in the BIOS. Okay, so it's like uh, unlocking the BIOS through jumpers? Yes. Okay, perfect. And as you can see, you, can, you have the same easy access switch than the other one. Yep. Yep, uh, okay. It's just like uh, the old story in, uh, in PIF. P5 series, uh, P4 series multiple. Okay. You can let you jump a level, like uh, one, 133 jump to 166, or jump to the 200. Okay, okay, perfect. Um, as we can see, you have a delayed port. Yep. Will you have the delayed like the Eclipse and Eclipse Plus motherboard? Yep. Okay. What is the main difference between this motherboard and the one we have just seen? At least one, we have a high C cap in the CPU side. It can provide more high efficiency and uh, overclocking ability in this one motherboard. Okay, and uh, what about the PCI Express uh, speed? Uh, we also have a uh, Huawei SOI support. We use we use NVIDIA M Force 200 chipset to provide you a uh, three three PCI by 16 slot. You okay, can... so you can run three SLI and three Crossfire. Yes. Okay, that's good. Our X50 marble has very awesome artwork. You will see a uh, very new design uh, hip hop. Yeah, it's pretty. Even the color, color shame is pretty cool. Yeah. Blue and uh, blue, dark blue and dark is, is cool. Uh, as we can see, we have uh, a little switch here. Uh, what is that for? Uh, this is called OC dial. OC dial can help a uh, overclock like you uh, to adjust uh, the frequency in the OS based on the less uh, CPU utilization in Windows. Okay, because it's a uh, hardware uh, modification. Yes, this is a hardware solution, not like a software or BIOS solution. Okay, so it's lightest and we can expect m a bigger overclocking. Yes. Right. Okay. Okay, so now we can run like quad crossfire or stuff like that. Yes, we can run cro quad crossfire. Okay, it's cool. Uh, as we can see, you have a uh, debug ports on the backside. Will this be on the final version? 
Yeah, this is final version. Okay, so on the on the P55 board, we have the number of phases of phase uh, running, yeah. and on this one you have debug ports. But uh, how can we look? How many phases are we using when overclocking? You mean? You mean here no, we have no, a display, no. and uh, on this, this one, one don't have the feature to let you see the we have uh, just phase. the LED. Yeah, because this one only have uh, six uh, six phases. Okay. So you will check the phase using by uh, LED. Okay. On top side. Perfect. On the Eclipse, we have seen the a module called the Green Power Genie, and yeah. uh, will this be also on the Eclipse Plus, or is this uh, in the motherboard already? Uh, yes, this motherboard include a Power R Power Genie to show you uh, how uh, efficient it is in this motherboard. Okay. Is this an external module or already on the motherboard PCB? Uh, on the Another multiple PCB. Okay, it's an external module. Yes, okay. another module. Sorry. Okay.